Okay, son, this is your father. Um, I'm sending this to your email. Me and Chuck looked at your swing this morning. Um, we really don't want you thinking about your swing. There's not much wrong with the swing. We've got a body issue problem here. We've just got to learn to get your body working correctly. Um, as you see on the left side, we've got two parts of your body. You have your upper part of your body and you have your lower part of the body. They get disconnected. As we start to go back in your swing, um, I'm going to put a smaller circle right around your head. Okay, it's okay for your head to turn, but I want you to watch the lateral motion you have with your head as, it's, as you start to go back. You're getting great extension, um, but in order to keep your body from falling over because your upper body is going to the right, your lower body compensates and goes to the left, and that's what causes that straightening of the right leg. Now look how you're, you're only at hip high and your head has already moved maybe seven to eight inches. Now as we go back farther it keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Now look how your upper body is gone. Great shoulder turn but we need that head right there but you can see this hip right here has gone the other way. So then this leg, this right leg straightens. So we got some simple stuff we're just going to work on because you'll see on the downswing, it even gets worse with the two parts of the body. I'm going to put a line right here. Remember, the downswing is a slight slide, big turn. So if we had a stake right here outside your left foot, we would slide till we bump that, then it would be a big turn. But you, watch how your lower body runs away. Great extension. Okay, blade's a little close to the top, but we're not too worried about that now. But now you get a slight slide. Then it just keeps sliding, 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 sliding. Now your lower body is way away from your arms and you, you've already released. Everything's released. All your power has been released with your lower body and look how much farther your arms have to travel. So what happens here is I'm going to draw a line. Instead of being able to turn it and hit it with all the force of your right side in order to get a, have to get away from the ground, you have to come up here. Here you start to come up, 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 up. And so all that energy has been released early and then you're just hitting with your hands and that's why the inconsistency is happening right now. We've got a lot more good stuff going on than bad stuff but we're just going to do, we've got a few simple things we're going to work on. We're going to put a power coil on this leg right here and we're going to have something that goes on your head to keep it still and you're going to learn to turn around a braced right leg and then you're going to learn to fire this whole right side into the ball and turn through the ball this way with the right side as that head stays nice and level back and through and inside the circle. You can see some good stuff over here on the right side, just for you can see it as you take it back. We want to try to get our tempo where we're not taking it back so slow. We would like to get more of this speed. Quit trying to be too perfect, but you'll see how you overcock the wrist early. Okay, it's just like the head's moving too much, the wrists are cocking, but you're really good position right there, nice and square. You get to the top a little bit over swinging, but that's a lot caused by the straightening of that right leg. Now, if I draw a line here, if I go back to setup, let's watch your path or your plane, whichever way you want to think about it. I'm going to put a line right here on your club. You want to come back 
underneath that. Okay. So as you go down, as you go back, very nice. Hands stay under. Perfect. You go up on it. See that? You go up on your plane. Very nice. The club's on plane right there. Very nice. Now as you get to the top, a little over swinging, the blade's a little closed, that's why you were hooking it that day. Now, the first move, because we slide, your club gets right back on plane pretty good. Look at that, beautiful. But you're already released. The energy is already to the left side, the hips are way past the ball, and you've got nothing left to do but hit with your hands, and that's where the inconsistency comes, and you can't turn this right side through and deliver the blow with this right side here. So just, you know, Chuck had a great thought. If we can just get you to learn to turn back correctly, we really think that all the other stuff's going to fall in place for you. You're really not going to have to think about it too much. Um, you're going to be able to load in the ball there, you're nice and under, but you can see how everything comes up, the body and the hands come up, even though the club's in the right position, but now the hands are way above where they should be, because then look how far away from the body they are, and then the club goes, there's good down the line, but you can see how, the, how you flip right there, instead of letting the body turn through, so some good stuff there, simple stuff, don't worry too much about it. We really need to work on this left side, the right knee, keeping the head centered, um, and learn to turn into that brace where you can, you don't have to get out in front of it so far where your lower half of your body is out racing your upper half. Okay, I'll see you when you get here from after school, but I just wanted to send this to you so you could look at it. Take care. Love you.